haven't really been doing much. I've just been working and honestly getting a lot of good stuff done. If you didn't watch our video a few videos videos ago, off-roading in Utah and we fixed it with duct tape. Um, we took the van out on some OHV roads. I don't know if they were OHV roads. I think they were OHV roads. Um, we took the van on some because we were caravanning with other people who were going down those roads yeah. and punctured a hole in the coolant hose. Pretty, a pretty bad hole too. Not like, not like a little hole, like the half of the hose like ripped. This. Like coolant was like spraying out the side from underneath the van as we were driving. So we got a total of 100 feet before we had to pull over and park it. And for the last week and a half, we've been rocking some duct tape on the coolant hose. <laughs> driving, how many miles do you think we've driven? A couple hundred, probably. We've driven from where we punctured it to where we are now, it's about three hours. Plus so, everything in between. Today's the day. We're fixing it for real. Pausing from doing van fix things because we're both starving. Breakfast. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. It's served in your sauces. We're fed. We're fed, we're happy. We're going to Home Depot right now. We're Need ready. to grab a few things to make my life a lot easier. We're fed, we're happy, we're ready to get sh done. I do have to say, having all of our food just with us all the time and like a fridge and an oven is maybe not my favorite part of van life, but it's definitely like a really big perk. I agree. We can be driving and just pull over and make some mac and cheese. Like, isn't that the coolest thing ever? Wait, can we put these? <laughs> can we put these on the front of the van? <laughs> Michael says we can't, but if you let us know in the comment, should we mount this guy? Can you put it, put the camera so the my finger is pointing to him? Okay. We wanna, I, I want to put him on the side of the van where the surf rack is. Comment if we should do that or not. <laughs> All right, we got everything we needed from Home Depot, hopefully. The thing with Home Depot is you always go back to something you forget. Hopefully we don't have to do that. Luckily, we'll be right across the street at Walmart, so we're not, go we're not going back. Let's go park in the shade. The actual part for the coolant system is 60 bucks. It's not super expensive, but it's probably gonna break again, so we're gonna kind of rag tag some coolant line and readjust it, whatever, however you wanna call it. It's gonna be done in a more like loose cannon kind of way. We bought some just random hose and clamps and we're gonna we're gonna fix it up that way. Alright, we gotta drain this. Before we like really get started on this, the big thing is you gotta let the van cool down for like you wanna let it cool down for a couple hours, but probably gonna let it cool down for like an hour or two. Maybe an hour and then we'll give it a go.
done draining for the most part. I'm gonna pull the other lower hose off, the like ripped hose, and more liquid will come out of there, but so far we're not doing too bad. Okay, now we're under the van. Gotta remove that lower hose. Coolant will probably come out. Let's try it out. Not the best way to do that, but oh well, it's done. How's it going in here? Good. Okay, I'm gonna run into Walmart. I'll come in. Still, looks good, looks good. All right, I'm gonna press record. Sure, press record. it's already recording. <laughs> All right, Walmart is this a ble blooper for the blooper reel? <laughs> so Walmart didn't have what we needed, which is fine. I wasn't fully expecting them to, but it's right here. So I want to bike over to O'Reilly's. It's like a hundred feet to our left, but I don't want to. I don't want to walk. So I'll stay with Nugget in the van. All right, taking the bike over to O'Reilly's. <laughs> Alright, the hose is secured. Biking back to the Walmart parking lot. <clears throat> Alright, so I chopped the old hose off. You can see how much duct tape I used. To, how much duct tape I used to keep it together. I don't really have the means right now being in a Walmart parking lot to reroute this the way I want to. So when I have it to a shop again or my main toolbox, I'll probably redo this. Um, this should be fine for now. The thing that's happening is that this is bending like that. And I don't think that's really good. I couldn't really find like a right angle piece available without having to order some things. Um, eventually that should be a pretty easy fix and won't lose a ton of coolant doing that. So uh, yeah, try it out. Okay, it's not exactly what I want, but should work what we need it to do more than anything right now. Probably replacing it when I'm not in a Walmart parking lot and I have a little bit more time to mess around with it and, and really dial it in. But for now, it'll probably work the best it. We're gonna run, run inside the Walmart and grab some coolant, fill it all up. All right. Last thing we gotta do is just put coolant in it and we'll be good to go. All right, let's go back to Walmart. I feel like we're here a lot. We are here a lot. Three of those. Moment of truth. We're gonna start with distilled water because this is way cheaper than coolant. No leaks. Not all of the coolant drained out when I when I opened everything up, which is fine. So I just fit what I could in there. We're gonna keep a bottle, two bottles in the back of the van, but it's done. Nothing's leaking, which is what we want. Get. Sweet boy. Your butt is in front of the camera. Excuse you. <sighs> Today was a day. How do you feel about the coolant hose? 
I mean, it's like, it's all right. I wish I did it differently now, thinking about it. It's one of those things where like you do something, you're like, well, I could have probably done it this way. That's okay though, it'll hold, so. Well, ne next time we spring a leak, you'll then have to. <laughs> I just ripped a hole in my shirt. Oh, no good. <laughs> Silly guy, oh well. That was rude. Yeah, next time we're off-roading and we spring a leak and are stranded in the middle of nowhere, then you will be required to fix it the better way. Yeah. <laughs> Silly guy. All right, well, we're gonna clean up a little bit and go to bed and come again. Thank you for following along. Appreciate if you haven't you subscribed yet, you should do it. It makes us really happy. We love when people comment if there's anything you want to see that you didn't or anything. Or if you have any advice for some coolant hose fixing, let us know. Always appreciated. We'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow.